Cheers! It's Black History Month, Black Owned Wine. It's Black History Month. It's Black History Month! <laughs> Bubbling, bubbling. Got some Via Ray. Is that how you say it? This is Easter Ray's wine. I, I, I've looked all over for this to have this, to try this, and we're here. Let's do it. Top 10 black owned fashion brands you need to follow, you need to know. Let's get into it. Hi beauties, my name is Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I discuss everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. It's Black History Month as I have stated probably like 10 times. Black History Month, um, I'm giving you guys 10 brands that you need to follow, specifically fashion brands. Of course, there are so many amazing black fashion brands that you need to know. Um, I tried to dig a little bit deeper for this one by digging up 10 fashion brands that we may or may not know you may not know or i found some that i did not know of of course there are some amazing brands that we all know of like the brandon blackwoods you guys know i adore brandon blackwood hanifa i'm actually wearing my hanifa skirt right now um hanifa fina well and andrea yama i actually ordered like a few swimsuits from her recently um for my vacation they're popular brands that we know of but i try to dig a little bit deeper to give you some brands that you may not know of and they're all fantastic all great um this wine is actually really good by the way like it's actually really really good it's a prosecco wine uh, via, from via ray um Issa ray's wine you know because Issa ray does everything um and it's actually really good i'm like drinking it i'm like this is a prosecco and prosecco is not usually my favorite but this is really good only thing is like it has a cork top and i don't even think i'm gonna be able to close that so i have to finish that bottle today but it's actually really really good like really good mm, okay so top 10 brands you need to know let's get start started um i have my phone here um because of course i'm not going to remember all 10 of them um, in my head um but if you guys if you get to the end of this video if i name some brands that i need to know that i may not have listed please share them down below sharing is caring and i want to know more because I'm gonna shop more black owned brands. Now, um, number one that I have found is a brand called Silver and Riley. Um, they are a handbag, Silver and Riley. And when I came across this, I was actually stunned at how beautiful the handbags were. Like, top notch, stunning, gorgeous. It was giving like Hermes who, like, why? <laughs> why even bother when you can go um, to Silver and Riley? All the bags are made in Italy, and I did like a little research on like the designer. Her name is Lola. Um, she actually has like an engineering background, um, which I thought was like fantastic of how she gave back and got into designing handbags. And they're all gorgeous. Like this one in particular, like if you are somebody who just wants like a simple classic bag, this classic New Yorker bag comes in like a ton of different colors, like gorgeous colors from like orange to blue. They even have a smaller size if you want to do, if you have tiny bag energy and you want something fun to carry, these are fabulous. Um, she actually has an amazing program um, where I actually wrote down, because I, I, it actually really intrigued my interest, that is a give one buy five program. Um, so 5% of the sale goes to a fund um, that helps black women women start their own businesses so I love that it was all about empowering I thought the quality of these bags look amazing I was like I was really intrigued because I'm like these bags are really really nice and I never really heard of the brand before so I was actually impressed so definitely check them out Silver and Riley if you love handbags simple classic ones like if you like the style of even like the Tory Burches um leah raswell bag you know hermes one of hermes kelly why don't we go in this direction <laughs> this is really really awesome and really nice now the next brand i'm not sure and you guys please forgive me if i say some of these brands wrong i actually tried to do like research of pronunciation of these things so i didn't like screw it up so the next brand i saw i found them on instagram because one a girl i um follow she actually like lives is from Alabama and she shares this brand often it's called Kaleche Kalechi I don't know but everything that I saw was like so like fabulous so cool so fun the designers from the south um which we don't hear of often like somebody being from Alabama 
from Alabama and like all of his designs are inspired by their culture. Now, when I saw these, I was like, is this for me? Probably not, but do I know somebody out there who can slay these boots? I was like, these boots, it's giving editorial, it's giving Jenny from the block, really editorial and really fun, but still cool nonetheless. And then these ones, I was like, you know, I'm from New York, you know, I'm a New Yorker, you know, and in New York, Yankee hat and these Yankee stadiums like shoes like how cool are these um, Beyonce um, stylist KJ Moody actually styles her in this this fabulous like metallic dress that is from the brand as well so if you're somebody who likes fun you know you like to have fun with fashion um, you're maximalist <laughs> you love all the things you like things that are quirky and fun definitely check out this brand um, I will link it down below because I thought a lot of his items were so fun. So the next brand, you guys, that you're probably familiar with is Shop Koi. Now this brand, I am so inspired by Hey It Riders, who is the um, owner and founder of this brand because the storytelling, the visuals, um, even though a lot of the pieces are like not my style per se, I'm always intrigued. I'm just like interested. Like even when she's telling the stories of like how she came up with a necklace or a bangle, I'm always like, ooh, wow. Like, and the imagery, it's just giving, it's giving, it's blackness, it's beautiful, it's art. And I love that I'm so impressed. I'm actually thinking about because you guys know my brother's getting married. I keep repeating that. <laughs> Stay tuned for the vlog but um, I'm look interested in this necklace because it's stunning but then I'm scared because like my neck is kind of small I'm like is this gonna be too much for me but I think I think I might order it um, everything is usually gold from shop Koi, so I'll be definitely interested to see if she does like more silver pieces on um, that a little bit more muted but one thing I love about the brand she actually has a storefront in Chicago if you're from there and you can check it out um, but the prices of the, the pieces they're hundred percent unique and like gorgeous and stunning but they're affordable. Like, you know, um, a lot of accessory brands, as I love, they're like pricey. It's pricey to get a piece. Not I'll pay for it because I just love things that are one of a kind and accessories make or break your outfit. But everything, I don't think I've seen anything from Shop Koi that was over $100. And the pieces, if it is $95, it's it's well worth it. So definitely check out Shop Koi. Um, I know Lee is another amazing creator who shares a lot of black owned brands and she has a lot of their pieces. And it's so funny, I'll see something on Shop Koi and I'll be like, oh, I don't know, that's too much for me. And then I'll see Lee and I'm like, oh, wow, I should have got that. Because if you don't get the drop, it, it's she's moving on. Hyatt is moving on to the next thing. So definitely check them out if you haven't had a chance. Um, they're a fabulous brand. This wine. <laughs> Okay, so next brand, Shop Icon. So you guys know I have this faux leather um, maxi skirt from the brand, which I love, and it actually comes in other colors. It comes in like tan, um, I believe brown or gray. Am I making up white? But I got the black one, and this brand, um, I believe the owner, the founder's name is Chris Cavallari, but women are meant to be iconic, statement pieces, really affordable and I actually like shopping brands that like they don't have so much it's not overwhelming but when you find something you're gonna be like mm, I need to get it I'm um, like even this set that I believe Tashira had on in this green like when I was scrolling and I saw her in it I was like I like stopped so I was like wait a second wait a second what is this and that's when I went back to order the leather skirt immediately but another amazing black owned business um again the skirt comes in I believe black and brown and tan and get your actual size I believe I got a small because the model was like curvilicious and I'm like oh she's wearing a small I could wear a small but I should have gotten a medium but go with your true size and definitely give them and check them out so the next brand Anise by Angel so I love this brand I love the bags I actually wanted this bag in red um, but I believe the red is sold out and then I ended up getting the Gucci bag but this bag comes in black and I think it's fabulous I love the shape, I love the design of it. All the bags by Nice by Angel are affordable, which I love, and they are different, right? So if you don't want such a classic piece, maybe you're not into the Silver and Riley, you want like a little bit of a pop, something a little bit more unique, definitely check out Nice by Angel. Um, so the designer, she wants you to be that girl 
when you wear one of her bags or one of her pieces and I love that I'm all about empowerment confidence um so the roomy tote bag is the one that I like um that's probably one of my favorites um so definitely check them out so the next brand is another brand I feel like Instagram I find out a lot of things on Instagram so um if you're not on Instagram, is the vault label. So I love fun accessories. Um, and I believe Hey K, oh Hey K shared this brand um, cause she had a pair of glasses and they were like really fun. Um, I think before in like a dupe video, I shared that they have like a Bottega dupe um, of the like mini Jody bag that comes now. They have like a red patent bag. They have it in a gold, I believe the gold and silver one that were actually leather sold out. But I definitely checked back and on their website to make sure that they come back in stock because those bags are really cute. Um, and I believe the brand owner's name is Danielle and her whole statement um, for her line is for accessories for the girls who like who like fun. Um, I like to have fun, especially with my accessories. So definitely check out this, another amazing black owned brand. I'm loving it. So this brand, I actually learned of the next brand through Monroe Steel. She actually had a collection with the Hoop Mob. I waited last minute because I feel like on my phone, I have so many tabs open and I just, I forgot about like my order, didn't place it. Um, but the brand is called the Hoop Mob. Um, I love the whole aesthetic. Um, of course, um, black female owned, of course. I think they take, uh, they do an amazing job at taking black staples like bamboo earrings and making them fun um these heart earrings are so cute um they're like circle hearts with little circles on them and everything on the website i believe um from the hoop mob is under 30 dollars, which is really affordable really unique um i love these nefertiti bracelets i they come in black not black they come in silver and gold and i really really like them they're in my cart right now along with these clear hoops that i feel like are really fun um I feel like they're really good for vacation. I really love those. And this from the Hoop Mob, I really like this um, layered silver necklace, Nefertiti necklace. So it has like the Nefertiti, um, the Africa, you know, continent, and then it's like layered. So I love that necklace as well. And everything from this website, again, is affordable. Um, under Now we're talking under $30, which is really, really great. For a good statement piece, especially if you like jewelry and you like to have fun with jewelry, definitely check out the Hoop Mob. I'm into it. And the founder's name is Don Danielle. Danielle. And she wanted to create an accessory brand that was culturally centered, culturally centered around the accessory, which is the hoop. So you'll see from the Hoop Mob with the name and a bunch of the things that they have are very fun and hoop inspired by our culture. So the next brand, this was another brand that I did not want to like mess up the name like of the saying it. So I went on Google, I was like, how do I pronunciate this name? It's Muletter, Muletter. Now I'm saying it wrong. Muletter, Muletter. So um, this brand is a, a Nigerian brand, um, a Nigerian designer, her name is Larissa. Now. One thing I love about this brand that really stood out to me is like the use of color, the use of shapes. Um, I love this. Even this dress here where it's long. Oh my God, I just lost my note. Where it's like really, really long, but it's voluminous. It has like a cool different shape. And even this sweatsuit um, that's like all brown and has the brand's name letter on the top, on the, across the shirt is really fun and really cool because it takes an interesting perspective on shape and the use of color. So definitely check them out. This brand is like probably mid-tier price. Um, I believe it runs from like $100 to like $200, but the price and the things that I've seen from the brand are actually really unique and really fun. So if you're somebody who loves color, you love bold things, you love statement things, definitely check out the line. I was really into it. Um, and her, her brand statement is she wants to create voluminous silhouettes for women to find comfort within themselves. So again, women empowerment. Um, so the next brand um, is Sierra Cheyenne. So I, I think I was just doing a lot of digging on Instagram. I know I keep saying that, but I was just going through Instagram, seeing what I can find, what I could come across that was a black owned designer. Um, Sierra is LA based. Now, one thing I love about Sierra is 
I'm like a person, I like minimalist things, but I like them to be different. I like them to be cool. I like them to be fun because just because you like minimalistic things doesn't mean you don't want to have fun. So I love this, um, this dress, maybe because it's called the Tulum dress. Not that I'm going to Tulum for vacation, but I love this Tulum dress. I was like, oh, we got a little, we got a little see-through situation. We got a little arm shoulder action happening. I love this. I thought this was really, really pretty. Um, the price point is fair. Um, this dress was about two fifty. Um, this. I love, I love this outfit because I'm loving snakeskin. As you guys know, it's a great neutral. Um, but I love this whole outfit. I love the voluminous shirt. I love, I don't believe the top and the shorts come together. Um, I believe they're sold separately, but I thought this was a really great minimalistic elevated approach outfit from this line. Um, so definitely check out Sierra Cheyenne. Um, great for minimal looks. Now the last, last but not least, I learned of this brand um, through I Know Lee. I watched one of her videos and she shared it and I thought it was really cool. This brand is New York based. Um, so if you, I share a few accessory companies. So the Hoop Mob, which is fun. We got Shop Koi, which is really statement and out there. If you're somebody who likes a little bit, you like your jewelry to be a little bit softer, um, definitely check out the brand Defoe and Company. So when I looked at their website, they had a lot of things that were actually really, really pretty and very simplistic. And the price point is really good too. Um, I love this necklace. It's like a linked necklace that has like a bracelet. I love the, you know, I gotta get my pictures out. I love um, the link necklace, the link bracelet. And this snake ring is so pretty, so pretty. Um, I love this ring and it's like gold and it's again unique but still a statement but still simplistic enough. Um, so the brand is established in New York, New York City. It's like NY stand up. <laughs> um, woman of color. Now they want to help women stay effortlessly chic while caring for the environment. So if you're into sustainability, check out this brand. All the brand uses for their um, pieces is handmade, used made, handmade, used made, handmade recycled materials and the packaging is 100% compostable. So I love that. Um, those are 10 brands that I want to share with you guys. Please let me know some brands that I may not have mentioned in this video down below. Check out the Easter Ray wine because I needed to wrap this video up. I'm like, oh my God, can I get through this? <laughs> the Prosecco is, is very good. So definitely check out her line. Definitely share some of your favorite black owned brands that I didn't mention down below. I appreciate you guys. Be safe and be well. Bye.